Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. During the Clone Wars Season 5 arc, where Ahsoka Tano has been framed for the bombing of the Jedi Temple and the murder of Leta Tormand, it's revealed that the Jedi Padawan Barasafi was the culprit behind the nefarious deeds, which ultimately resulted in Ahsoka Tano leaving the Jedi Order. However, as Ahsoka was on trial, presiding over the tribunal was Chancellor Palpatine. This led some Star Wars fans to theorize that the Sith Lord was the true mastermind behind the Jedi Temple bombing, pulling Barriss's strings from behind the scenes with the ultimate goal of pushing Ahsoka away from Anakin, which would help push Anakin towards the path of the dark side. Is that actually the case though? My thought is no, Darth Sidious was not the true mastermind of the Jedi Temple bombing. The main reason for my inclination comes from the canon novel Tarkin, which provides readers with Darth Sidious's thoughts on the trial of Ahsoka Tano. In the novel, it's revealed that, during the days of the Clone Wars, Darth Sidious had attempted to promote a rapport between Anakin and Tarkin. Since Anakin was being molded to become his next apprentice, and Tarkin had already been an ally of the Sith Lords for many years. We learn that Darth Sidious laments the fact that a relationship between Darth Vader and Tarkin had never prospered to his satisfaction. Furthermore, Sidious dwells on the fact that Ahsoka's trial had provoked further dissatisfaction in Anakin Skywalker, which did help push Anakin towards the dark side, but it inadvertently resulted in a wedge developing between Vader and Tarkin, as Tarkin was the prosecutor during Ahsoka's tribunal. If Sidious's goal was to create a rapport between Tarkin and Anakin Skywalker, two people the Sith Master viewed as key pieces in his plot to topple the Republic and the Jedi Order, it wouldn't have made any sense for Sidious to allow Tarkin to be the lead prosecutor against Ahsoka. Sidious knew how attached Anakin was to the people that were important to him, so pitting Tarkin against Ahsoka in her trial would essentially be pitting Tarkin against her Jedi Master, Anakin, as well. That would be counterintuitive to his ultimate plans. Darth Sidious was a master manipulator and planner. My guy had contingencies on contingencies on contingencies. Sidious orchestrating the Jedi Temple bombing with the hope of getting Ahsoka out of the picture, only to have Targon lead the tribunal against Ahsoka and earn the ire and disdain of Anakin, Sidious's phantom apprentice, seems completely uncharacteristic of the masterful planner and manipulator. One of the myriad of reasons for Darth Sidious's rise to Galactic Emperor was the fact that, while the Republic Senate and the Jedi Order were playing chess, Checkers, my man was playing multiple games of hollow chess at once and outthinking every single one of his opponents. It's hard to see how a master tactician such as Sidious would fail to realize that pitting Tarkin against Anakin's Padawan, and by proxy Anakin, would create bad blood between the two individuals who were seen as key pieces in his plans for galactic conquest. Additionally, aside from providing a backstory for how Ahsoka was not present during Revenge of the Sith and showcasing how she would leave the Order, the final arc in Season 5 of the Clone Wars provides Star Wars fans with a closer look at how the galaxy had begun to view the Clone Wars and the Jedi. During the arc, we get a scene where citizens of Coruscant are protesting the war in the Jedi, showing that unrest and contempt was brewing throughout the galaxy against the Jedi Order. Barriss Offee, once apprehended, even states that her reasoning for bombing the temple is because the Jedi had lost their way, had become villains, and the galaxy knew this. This contempt for the Jedi Order amongst the citizens of the Republic was something that Sidious had obviously planned when orchestrating the conflict between the Republic and the Separatists. George Lucas and company wanted fans to gain a better understanding of why the Galaxy and Senate so easily turned against the Jedi and coalesced behind their newly anointed Galactic Emperor. Sidious's plan placed the Jedi Order between a rock and a hard place. He created a conflict so large that the Jedi could either participate in it and betray all of their ideals, or they could uphold their beliefs, sit out the war, and appear apathetic to the plight and turmoil spreading across the galaxy. It was lose-lose for the Jedi Order, which further hammers home the brilliance and astutely tactical mind of Darth Sidious. Although Barriss Offee's decision to bomb the Jedi Temple was born from the machinations of Darth Sidious, it was ultimately an indirect result from Sidious's plan to topple the Jedi Order. While his actions resulted in a Jedi Padawan turning against the Order, once they began to see that the Jedi had lost their way, it ultimately resulted in a rift between Tarkin and Anakin that would continue into their days as a Moff and a Sith Lord. As sweet as it must have been for Sidious to see that his plans were
plans were coming to fruition and working, the novel Tarkin lets us know that Darth Sidious lamented the disdain that festered between Darth Vader and Tarkin because of the tribunal against Ahsoka. Although it's not explicitly stated in Tarkin whether Sidious was or was not behind Barriss Offee's bombing of the Jedi Temple, I'm inclined to say that he wasn't. But what do you think? Do you think that Darth Sidious swayed the Jedi Padawan Barriss Offee to bomb the Jedi Temple? Let us know down in the comments. Want more Star Wars content? Check out some of our other videos. Please like and subscribe, and stay nerdy.